What is up, F boys of the world? Welcome, welcome back to Scorpio Biz, the best place you can be right now. So, guys, today the good and the bad and the really bad about dating Gemini, Gemini woman. Okay, pay attention because this is a really complex sign that has many nuances. So you gotta pay attention what I'm gonna tell you in case you have a Gemini lady or for you ladies, maybe I'll throw an extra there. You have a Gemini man. Let's get started guys. So first, the good of dating a Gemini woman, for example. Guys, Gemini women, they are extremely intelligent, if not some of the most intelligent zodiac signs out there especially the ladies they love attention they they know how to carry themselves in a classy way you feel me like you're not you're never gonna be like bored with them you feel me you're all your days are gonna be filled with uh with unparalleled joy and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun they have a sense of uh they have a sense of fashion too, of aesthetics. They love that thing. And and also that translates into their thoughts. You know how they carry their thoughts with you, their communication. And here, here comes a part where like intelligence plays out the best. They were gonna make a, a Gemini lady is gonna intentionally kind of lead you in a, in a way that you're gonna you're gonna take the best out of you or your character to imprint it into her and your social circle i'm telling you because i've been with gemini women before and it happened that way you know gemini women are so telling that in a way that they give you hints you know they give you hints it's like uh, they give you hints for you to make a move that is going to benefit you and her in the longer run or also in the short term if she wants to have some fun or or if she sees that you're fucking up she's going to come to the rescue in a really subtle way she's going to leave you hints like like uh i don't know it might be like uh hey babe uh, like i saw this opportunity like uh I saw some of your uh, buddies doing this, like it looks good, or the neighbor, or, or look, check out what I saw, this, um, I don't know, uh, networking events, like real, not in your face, but they will do it. Now, another thing with the Geminis, Gemini woman, is that they love talking, feel me, like, they will have an interest, interesting conversation. They will just look at you and talk, 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 and, and come up with interesting topics of conversation. You, you're never gonna be bored with them. You feel me? They have this touch of um, of flow when it comes to conversation and and social interactions, which is cool. I appreciate it though. I appreciate it. If you take a Gemini lady out, she will make sure that you feel proud of her. And uh, that's good, you know, because not, not many ladies have that sensitivity to, how can I say, to make their man, their man like feel proud of them. You know, when you go out, uh, when you go to a social function, they will make sure they look good for you, you feel me? Now the thing is, and I'm gonna put this into the on, on the other section on the bad. They are they they are really smart that you don't put PDA, public display of affection. They are really particular about this, okay? But we'll touch down that later. Another good of Gemini guys, another good is that. Usually the Gemini lady though, they are quite organized and quite private in some areas. I'm telling you cause 
a Gemini lady, she will take pride on having a beautiful home arranged like an order. You feel me? It's part of their intellect as well, though. Their intuitive sense of... Uh, how can I explain this? It's like a, an intuition for... Oh, this is going to look fucked up. Let me fix it before it gets broken. You feel me? It's hard to, hard to understand if, if you want me to explain to you. Like... Uh, they have this sense of anticipation, like everything has to be in order, super cool. Not like the OCDs of, of Virgos, but in, in another sense, like having a, an orderly place, because that's a reflection also of their how they feel inside. You feel me? So, that being said, trust me, if you want to get along with a Gemini woman, you're going to see that they, they might even go organize your place. They like pets and so on, they like attention, so on, but all in all, they, they have this sense of organization, harmony, on their living quarters, it's good, it's good, man, I'm telling you, it's good, it's good now for the ladies, a Gemini man, well, I don't date men, but I have Gemini male friends, uh, these fellas have a pride, you know, on, on their intellect, usually, Gemini men, they they enjoy uh, literature, ancient books. Uh, how can you surprise a Gemini man? And the good gave him a book, a chess board, uh, something that stimulates their intellect. You feel me? Like their brain. It's good. It's gonna keep their heads like above the water in a way that they are not gonna flip on you. You're a lady. Now, guys, the bath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need a crack in my hands now. Fuck. Guys, Gemini's, pay attention. They are going to make you talk. They are going to make you talk. And that's when you lose. Because a Gemini woman... She wants to have the upper hand without you knowing that she has the upper hand. We, sorry, without you knowing that you she has the upper hand. And by this, check out. They will ask you a lot of questions early on. They might observe you from the distance, straight up, before even making a decision to come over to your place and clap or whatnot. Uh, it depends on the case. But say a 25 plus Gemini woman, best believe, best believe she's going to look good for the most part. She knows how to dress. She, she has a sense of fashion and, and, and a sense of uh, anticipation. She's, she might observe you. She might invite you to places. I, I've, seen, I've seen Gemini women taking, taking the initiative sometimes. And she's going to ask you a lot of questions. Oh, what you do? Eh? Tell me about your family. Tell me about your childhood. Tra -la 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 -la, like very nosy, you know. And that's part of the Gemini nature because they want to have the upper hand without you knowing that they have the upper hand. That's the dangerous part, though. I did a mistake with a Gemini lady a while ago, like uh, you know, like they get you drunk sometimes. They they love they love. They love a good time. They love a good time. They get you drunk, la la la, tell me about you, tell me about your problems. La la, oh, I'm here for you, baby, I'm here for you. But guess what? That's deadly. Because let me tell you, once a Gemini woman has this really crucial info about you, your traumas, your whatever it is, your issues, whatever is going behind the curtain that you wouldn't normally disclose, um, 21 that's a problem that's a problem because now she's making a fucking uh, analysis of the situation she's probably computing you know fucking excel throwing some complicated algorithm algorithms to see patterns in your behavior to see when you're gonna snap flop or ghost her or or god knows what see how weak you are maybe as a man 
see what you're going to do next. Like that, that's how crazy Gemini women can be. So take that into account because that, that can, that can mess you up big time. That can mess you up big time. He messed me up with this Gemini lady that I was dating and, and trust me, I'm like, I revealed her one little secret or two when I was kind of vulnerable or drunk or whatever. Trust me, she never saw me the same again. She was totally different. She was like, you know, distant. Like uh, after that, she put like friendly vibes. Like, I'm like, you don't have to feel pity about me because I open up to you, but that's Gemini. That's in general, any lady out there, you open up to them to that, that extent, even if they have feelings for you, they're gonna retract. So especially Gemini woman. So be careful, don't disclose. Now the next, the other bad guys. Pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. Gemini women have a hard time committing. They like their space. They like, especially the young ones, they have a hard time committing because they they have like this bird eye view of their world that they don't want to be attached to someone until they have run their algorithm, like, like I said, the algorithms, their analysis of the situation. Secretive. Secretly, that's another one, especially they have money in Scorpius or something of their emotions. Sometimes they might be juggling with one or two guys. You might not even be aware because they are super discreet. And that's a bad thing because when you think you are sure with her, you feel me? They're going to pull back. You might be hanging out with her. You might be doing things, clapping, whatever. And and they, they like a good time, like you say. So it's going to be get a point that either you take a very strong lead um, and put it out there with the your Gemini lady and be like, you know what? Are we together? Are we not together? What's up? You got to put it out there. They have the linear thinking too, the Gemini. So on that sense. Otherwise, trust me, they're going to pull back and they're going to be wishy-washy and be like indecisive. It's an old trait of them. You you got to, as a man, you got to take the lead with any lady. <laughs> but a little bit more with them, not, not in a very blunt way. But be like, hey, here. Because trust me, they're going to go with an old guy. And the thing, the, the thing they're going to either get along with them, they're going to be thinking about you. It's going to be a shit show. And the last one, guys. The last one, guys. Oh, man. For... They are very impulsive. They're really impulsive. Okay, so... You got to bear that in mind when you're... Communicating with them. Gemini women... Women... My bad. They might act on their impulses from one minute to the other without you even knowing. Mostly behind the curtains. You will not know about any blunt decision that they take until it's too late, until she's like, hey, guess what? I'm going to grab a coffee. I'll be back. Guess what? They're gone. <laughs> uh, that's the last thing you will ever know about them. In their impulsiveness, they might ghost you. They might just go shop with someone else uh, at a bar that you frequent, and that's it. I know it's kind of crazy, but that's how they operate. You know, it comes with that emotional sensibility that they have from the intellectual side, too. You know, it's like, okay, I'm doing this, that, and that. Okay trigger but, but they they analyze their options for a, for a while you feel me like any other intelligent human being but Gemini women like they do it they they do it you feel me and you know what sometimes they won't even tell you in 
their impulses they won't even tell you what they're up to until you go figure yourself maybe they don't want to hurt you or they don't want to cause commotion or, or trouble or, or disappoint, disappointment to you especially you're invested with them feel me that's the thing their impulsivity is, is from the inside out not from the outside to inside Aries for example they blow up really easy it's like it's like a hot potato you throw it on the oven at 499 degrees on the broiler you take it out you put it two seconds and it's already hot and you're like Whoa, the hot potato bouncing all over on all the family members at the at the dining table that's Aries for you and they cool down but Gemini's on the other hand you see them chill not saying shit but next thing you know they might backstab you they might they might pull pull a move they might go snitch on you uh da 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 it's rare for me to see a Gemini that is a snitch for the record usually usually they defend their partners a lot they they are there for them you feel me but they always want to know stuff about you they always want to ask you oh what happened with this I, I really like they want to be the center of attention in, in the goddamn social setting just like Leo but Gemini's is like they're gonna be loud they want to be noticed they want to be loud and they want to sit on everyone's lap to be like hey I'm here what's up hey I'm here you feel me it can get a little bit of annoying I find it with Gemini's on that sense it gets a little bit like invasive I find it I, I don't appreciate that on the on the private spaces however Gemini women prefer most of the times go back sleep at their places but when she wants she stays it's because she's really into you they, they have this privacy you feel me that's the sense of duty too like they have stuff to do if they have pets they are really like there for a pet they have a sense of independence as well and usually for the most part they will cover their tracks especially when it comes from the past with their families affairs etc etc and some of these girls like Gemini girls are the bad you know are the bad they have some masculine traits sometimes they like extreme extreme sports some of them or they have like a little crazy side it's attractive I don't know I find it attractive so that is the bad guys this was the good and the bad of dating in Gemini hope you enjoy it if you like it you know what to do subscribe share it with your friends like it comment comment it you think I'm right you think I'm wrong you can tell me until the next time this is Corpus Biz see you F boys <laughs>